Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today we're going to be taking a look at isometric characters and using 8-bit directional to move them not only up, left, right, and down, but also in the 45 degree angles in between and also making sure that our animations work with it. So before I jump into the code, I'll give a quick shout out to the artists of these sprites. Uh, they are made by remusprites.carbonmade.com and I'll of course link their page down below in the description but they have some nice artwork and it's free to use so go ahead and check them out for this tutorial I'm going to start all the way in the beginning so starting a brand new project and we are going to go ahead and throw a tiled background and this is just to throw some green color for the grass nothing special I'm just gonna stretch it over my entire program and now I'm going to right click and lock it. That way I don't click on it anymore. So the color's there, but the object is untouchable, which allows me to work on top of it. And next I'm going to start throwing in the sprites. So I'm going to create a sprite. And from there I'm going to go into the sprites that I downloaded. And we're just going to be working with two different sets. So first we're going to do idle. Whenever my character is not moving, I want them to face the screen and show a little bit of movement essentially like he's breathing so I'm gonna grab these sprites and it's as simple as just dragging them down onto this animation I'm gonna delete the blank one and as I click through these you see he just moves in the smallest amounts back and forth a little bit so we'll hop into here we'll make sure it's looped I'm gonna change the speed ever so slightly just so it's a little bit faster and I'm gonna title this as idle and then from there I need to add all eight directions so they're going to be run animations and then I'm just going to throw the direction they're running in so we'll have a run north and run northeast and I'm going to throw a loop on these as well as well as the speed bump that I did on the other one alright now I have all eight in here as well as my idle for a total of nine and I just got to get the actual images in and we're gonna do this the same way we did the idle one but for each direction of run so we'll hop up a layer here and I'll go into his run animations and he has broken down with a three digit number to break off each direction so he starts running south in his and then slowly turns the character and if you look right here they're labeled as zero 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 Southeast is labeled as 100 and then you get 200, 300, all the way up to 700. So that's how we know what ones to grab. So we're going to take our zeros and throw them into south. So I have south selected and zeros. Throw them in and of course we'll delete that first one. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the other seven. All right. Now we have all eight of those set up and we just have to tie them to an animation and we have a behavior eight directional here which is going to help us out a bunch but it won't do everything for us so we're going to throw it on and I'm going to show you real quick what happens when we play with it. It starts out with the keys automatically being the up left down and right on your keyboard and it has a weird type of directional follow. So we're gonna turn that off. Uh, we want no angles to happen. And now we will have our character move in the directions we hit and it already does diagonals for us. And then obviously up, left, down, right as well. And currently it just sits on idle. Forever. So now we need to make it read our directions. So we're going to need to add the keyboard event, which allows me to use the keyboard event on my event side. So we're going to start with key is down and I'm just going to do one for each basic direction here. So we're going to have up, right, down and left. And on these we're going to go ahead and just set the animation to the correct one. So we're going to have run north for up and it's easier for me to just copy paste these. And since I know all the names I can just edit the direction on the end here. Hmm. So now we can run in a direction and our character runs. We can go up and we can go down, but going diagonally, nothing happens because we don't have something that sets for both of them. So the first thought would be to just throw one in that has both. And this would be northeast because we're going 
both up and to the right. So if we label that in here, this is not going to work. So our east and our up still work, but it starts the animation and then it just pauses it. But we do at least get the angle in there, but it is calling multiple directions. So not only is it calling this one, it is calling this and this as well, because all of these are true. We have up, we have right, and we have up and right. So it's trying to run all of these and that is breaking it. So we're going to go into these guys and we're going to throw checks to verify that I'm not doing more than one key at a time. So that's as simple as hopping in here, throwing this right and inverting it. So now in order to run north, I have to be holding up and I also have to not be holding right, which will keep this from breaking. And the same thing for if I want to run to the east, I have to also not be hitting up. So this right here is going to fix our northeast directional. And as you can see, I'm running northeast and my animation's working and I can still run to the right and I can still run to the north, both with animations. And thinking ahead, if I need this here to move northeast, I'm also going to need something to move north west without breaking it. So we're going to throw the left direction on there as well. So essentially every one of these single directions has to check the two other keys that could be held down as well to go at an angle. So up we'll have to check right and left, down we'll have to check right and left as well, and then right we'll have to check up and down, and left we'll have to check up and down as well. So we'll, we'll copy paste this and set this one to down. And I'm just going to edit that so the correct key is on top, uh, just slightly easier to read. And then I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to set this to down. And this is going to be my new run south. So I will copy the run south and then delete this whole thing and just paste the run south in there and erase the run north. So now we can run north and south still with the double checks. And the same thing has to happen here, but it's going to be slightly easier for me to just copy those and throw them in here and drag that back up. So now I can run in all directions and it pre-checks to make sure I'm not trying to run at a diagonal. And I'll show that that works. I can still run in all directions and I can run northeast and no other diagonals work right now because I only have the one in there. So we will throw three more in here. And I'm gonna set that down. And that'll give us southeast. I'm gonna set that to left. And that'll give us northwest. And now we need southwest. So we need to change both to down and to left. All right, now we can run in all eight directions. And the last thing I want to do was have my character stop running when I release the keys. And I'm going to do that by setting him to idle whenever I am done pressing down all the keys. So if up is not pressed, and down is not pressed, and right and left are also not pressed. So if none of my directions are pressed, we're going to set our sprite to idle. And this will look a little funny because there's like a slide that happens uh, since my characters don't stop running the second I let go. So he's going to turn while still moving. And I'm going to fix that by just putting a small weight here. And it'll be 0.4 seconds after I release the last button. It's going to set my character to idle, so they'll stop running and then they'll face the front and they will wait for your, your next command. Hopefully that gets you started with isometric characters. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, throw that thumbs up button. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one.